Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. It's time for another hardware review and today we are looking at the UWell Valerian Pod Kit. So the UWell Valerian Pod Kit, which is this thing here, a brand new release from the people at UWell. So it comes in three different colors, gold, green, and black. I've obviously got the black version here today. We'll have a look at the other two colors down at the table. It's got a 1,250 milliamp hour internal battery, a two milliliter capacity, adjustable airflow, and a one ohm and a 0.6 ohm coil included in the box. So I've got the 0.6 in here at the moment with the airflow fully open. Open. Let's take it for a quick two. And that was a bit of a long toot. So what we're going to do in the review today is take this down to the table, have an unboxing, show you what you get inside the kit, get it all set up for you, bring it up top and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it and take it for a toot as well because I missed that bit out. So right, let's grab the box and I'll see you down at the table with the UWell Valerian pod kit. Okay, so this is the Valerian Pod system, and this is the packaging that you will get in if you are in the UK. So yeah, pretty damn nice. It's got the color on the back. We are unboxing the gold today. So let's quickly slide this open. It comes in kind of like a hard case, which you can use to store bits and bobs and pieces afterwards. Uh, completely up to you if you wish. Take that off, you've got a bit of a foam pad in there. Valerian simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Beautiful, so we have got the gold one here today. Sorry about the reflection, but this is shiny, shiny, shiny. It's kind of like a matte silver. And obviously you've got the Valerian design on there. Pull that off, and then underneath there, you will get your instruction manual or your user manual. Please read through that beforehand, but it's completely up to you whether you do or don't. You've also got down here, spare set of O-rings. A USB charge cable, USB, uh, micro USB on this one, uh, not USB type C. You have also got some silica gel, lovely, do not eat that, and your spare coil. So let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Oh, look, that's stuck on the bottom as well. You've got your warning thing as well. So there we go. Let's take this out and have a look. Now, I've chosen the gold because it's easier to see on the camera, but this measures in at 9.2 by 3.7 by 1.2 centimeters. And it's made of aluminium. Um, it's got like a cold feel to it straight out of the box. Fire button there, airflow there, Valerian there, VLRN, really cool. And the same on the other side. On the bottom there, you have got your markings and your charge port, CE and bin, and Valerian down there. Pretty damn cool. So these pods, two milliliters in capacity. The one that you get with it, has a core already installed. So all you do is pull them out. You pinch them either side and you can see at the bottom there, they only go in one way. If I take that out, you can kind of see a little bit better. Now these do like uh, kind of stick with this O-ring on the way in and out, but it's nothing really to worry about. But you put the coils in this way, they only go in one way. If you put them in any other way, you'll be having a bad time. So the core included here at the moment if we get that in a bit better focus for you. So the pre-installed coil is a one ohm, eight to 15 watt canthal coil. You can kind of, you really can't see down there. It's, it's quite a deep chimney in here because this um, kind of acts as a chimney and a coil. Um, you know, it's quite large, but you can see there Valerian markings. Don't put in a bin, but we all put them in the bin anyway. And the spare coil in here is the 0.6 ohm, 18 to 25 canthal coil. So you've got red O-rings on that one, red O-rings on that one. So do keep an eye on what they are before you put them in. So filling these up are pretty simple. Now I'm not gonna fill this one up because this is going to be a sample or a, uh, a product that I give to someone. I can't um, actually say what it is, but at the top there, open your port up and that is where you put your e-liquid. When you're done, put it down, drip tip, not removable. And when you're done with all that jazz, you just pop the pod on top and you are blooming good to go. Now let's compare the three different colors on here. So obviously this is the gold version here. If you do like a little bit of bling bling, bit of matte gold and it's a bit shinier, um, 
on that, that little thing there. This isn't actually black, it's a reflective gold. If we go to the black version here, which I've been testing, if you like the murdered outlook, absolutely beautiful. And you can get it in a green color as well. It's kind of like a, a bottle green. Really damn nice. So we'll put them together and we'll just show this one here that I've been testing. So it is five clicks on, five clicks off. Mine is already on. And when you do fire, you get a little bit of a green flashiness down the bottom there. Five clicks off and you get that fading out. Five clicks on and it fades in and you are ready to fire. Now, one thing I do want to look at on this as well, you're not really going to see it, but the e-liquid in here, only goes in a little chamber. So you've got two miller capacity, but it only runs down the bottom of the coil here. You've kind of got this capacity here below the filling port, but see that darker bit below the V? Um, that is where the e-liquid runs. This whole thing here doesn't fill with e-liquid, which I think is pretty strange. I think there must be a silicone bung in here that runs across the whole width of the pod. But yeah, it's very, very difficult to see. Um, yeah, you really can't see it, but the actual e-liquid when you fill it up fills this bit here. So you do have to keep an eye on that when you are filling it up. Um, it is a little bit of a con because it fills up quite quickly, but it is only two milliliters of e-liquid. So yeah, there we go. So what we're gonna do is put this all back together the right way. Oh, I forgot about the controllable airflow as well. On the back of the pod, you have got controllable airflow. So you can control that up and down to your heart's content. If you want more, open it up. If you want less, close it down. And then when you're done, just put it back into the pod and you are good to go. So right, we're gonna take this back up to FaceTime, take it for two and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So right, we are back up top with the UL Valerian pod kit. We've got that 0.6 ohm coil in there. Let's take it for two and we'll discuss flavor and clouds and all that jazz. So the airflow was fully open on that. I would say the flavor is above average. I would say it's a six, 6.5 out of 10. So it's good, but it's not amazing, but it's not average. It's somewhere around about in the middle. So let's close the airflow down a little bit. So we'll probably go somewhere in the middle to keep things nice and normal. Let's go. That is a loose direct to lung vape or a loose mouth to lung vape, sorry. You see if you doubt direct lung it. You can, but it's a restricted direct lung vape. Let's crank it a little bit more close. Can't do it all the way because it will shut off the airflow completely. Put the pod in the right way, let's go. That is a mouth to lung vape. And that flavor is good, that flavor is good. I'm gonna say that is borderline at seven. Not too bad, the drip tip is getting a little bit warm, but apart from that, the flavor is pretty damn good. So what I'm gonna do is swap the coil out for the one ohm and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so we are back with the one ohm coil in this. I've got Cerberus e-liquid in there by Zeus Juice this time around. Let's take it for a toot. Now the airflow on this is fully open. Let's take it for a toot. That is a restricted direct to lung vape. Flavor is good. I'm going to say that again is a 6.5, 7 out of 10 on this one ohm. Bit of mouth to lung action there. Like an unrestricted mouth to lung. Very nice, really nice flavor. Yeah, beautiful. So let's close that airflow down again. We'll go about half open, half closed. Maybe a little bit more, maybe three quarters closed. Let's try a bit of a mouth to lung vaping on this. Perfect amount of restriction there. Absolutely blooming perfect. Flavor, yet again, absolutely bloody lovely. I'm gonna say that's a seven, 7.5 um, when you close the airflow down. So let's start getting into the nitty gritty bits and we'll start with the cons. And I've only really got one con with this and it's kind of the filling method um, kind of thing. Now, if you look at the pods there, I'm not gonna get it into focus, but you can see the darker parts on there. That is where your e-liquid goes. Um, it doesn't fill up the rest of the pod, which I think is um, a little bit strange. Um, I'm sure there's a little bung in there. Obviously it does feel coming down from the pod. You can't really see it, but just below this section here, let's try and get that. There we go, just below this section here actually fills with e-liquid, but the rest of the e-liquid just seems to pull at the bottom and concentrates around the wicking hole on the coil there. Um, I'm quite glad I got that in actually. Um, but I think the pod, when you're trying to fill it up with like your big unicorn bottles, kind of things like this, it does struggle. You've kind of got to angle them in and stuff like that, and you've got to angle the pod with a drip tip down 
well not the drip tip down, but the drip tip at the lowest point like that um, to get the maximum amount of e-liquid in there. Now I'm not sure if you can pull the, the silicone out, if there is silicone in there, I'm not sure, but if it looks like there's a bung in it, I'm not sure if you can pull that out, but it would be good if you could, so you could you know maximize the capacity of this, but you know I wouldn't recommend it at all just in case you invalidate your warranty or anything like that and you may not be able to use the pod but apart from that apart from the filling method it is pretty good i just think that needs a little bit of adjusting i'm not sure how i would do it um, but it does need a little bit of adjusting there um, but the flavor from this will go into pros now the flavor from this is very good for a pod kit you know around about average um not around about average but it is averaging around about a seven out of ten across the board um, for both of the calls depending on what airflow settings you have it at um, call life as well for these I've had these both in for five days each and they are still going absolutely blooming strong I've taken a while to test this um, just to you know get a good good feel for it and I'm um, overall I'm quite happy with the flavor clouds and the longevity of the coils yeah really, really really damn happy with that as far as construction goes you know i really like this black murdered out version also like the gold the green really isn't my thing but you know it looks nice if you're into something green then it might be one for you so let's go into price as well Price, I've seen this price over here in the UK at £29.99. That is not a bad price at all. You really cannot complain at 30 quid for something that's producing decent flavor, decent clouds. You've got you know, a solid aluminium construction on there. It doesn't look too garish. It's really nicely designed. Um, my only main gripe with this really would be the, um, the fitting method at the top, but you know, you kind of get used to it after a while. I just feel that there could be a better way to do it than the one that they've got on here. So overall, what do I think to the UL Valerian pod kit? Overall, I really like it. Um, it's going to be a pod I'm going to use into the future. You can use regular nick or salt nick with this. Uh, it's completely up to you, but you know, just be careful on the lower ohm coil, just in case you get a little bit too much of a nick rush. Um, just be careful, careful with that. Okay. Uh, but apart from that, you know absolutely bloody cracking so i'd like to thank the lovely people at you well for sending this through for the purpose of review i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching devil vapors vape reviews